Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to factor differences of squares. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We have this formula right here, a squared minus b squared can be factored to be a minus b times a plus b. B. And this is useful when we have some polynomials of special forms when we want to factor them. So we got two examples here to go through and we'll see how we can apply this formula. Our first one here is 64y squared minus a1. I want to see if I can rewrite this polynomial in terms of an a squared minus a b squared. 64y squared, let's see with that first. Well, luckily 64 is a perfect squared. 8 squared equals a 64. So I'm going to start with an 8 here. y squared is equal to a y squared, actually. So the value y here I can put down, and if I square everything, I have 64 is equal to 8 squared, and y squared is, well, equal to y squared. And so my a value here is my 8y. We can see it right there. a, 8y, if we have it, 8y squared. Now, Minus, we have to write in terms of a b squared. What about 1? Can 1 be rewritten as something squared? The answer is yeah, itself. 1 squared is equal to 1. So we have an a squared right here, minus a b squared going on. And notice our a and b values we've labeled, we can rewrite this. And so since our a value is an 8y and our b value is 1, we can apply our formula. a minus b and uh, 8y minus a b value, which is 1, minus 1, times a value, 8y, plus my b value, and be careful, my b value here is the 1, not the minus sign, it's just the 1 here. And we factored our first, well, polynomial to be 8y minus 1 times 8y plus 1. So let's go try another example here. We have 144x squared minus 49y squared. Again, let's take the first part, 144x squared. Well, 144, we know, is a 12 squared. It's a perfect square. So I put a 12 here, and then if I take down the x, well... We know x squared is x squared right here. I can write this pretty simply as 144x squared to be a 12x all squared. They are equal right there. So here we have our a value all squared. I'll put parentheses around it, make it a little easier to see. I guess I could have done that here. All right. The second one here, we have 49y squared, the second part. Let's see if we can apply the same thing. 49 is equal to 7 squared. So put a 7 right here. And then y squared is, well, equal to y squared. So 7 squared is our 49, and y squared is a y squared. And so our b value is a 7y, and we can, well, square it to see our formula. We have our a and b value. Now we apply our formula. a minus b, so a 12x, minus our b value, which is a 7y, times our a plus b, a 12x plus a 7y right there. And there we have it, our second polynomial factors using our formula here uh, to be 12x minus 7y all times a 12x plus 7y. I hope you learned something here on how to factor differences of squares. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.